um, simply called the funnels. Best part about it is we can combine a lot of the skills they're going to do uh, in the one little drill and control the whole thing really well. Okay, so we can get a play the ball in there. We got a dummy half pass. We got a first receiver, uh, and we can put a defender in. Extensions onto that later is we can have two defenders and we can have a, a second receiver as well. Okay, so basically what we're trying to do, that the main part of the drill is working on the first receivers. Again, what Brad said over there, first thing our first receivers want to do one is either they're just going to stand still and catch the footy and then pass it, or two, they're going to catch it and then just run sideways. Okay, so what we're working on here, the main emphasis while working on those other skills, the main thing we're going to do is get them moving forward and, and straight. So they're going straight and they're going forward onto the footy. Okay, so what we'll have, can we get two guys where the footies are? What Chris has done is he set up two so you can actually go uh, both ways, so we're passing the footy both ways. So we'll play the ball here. Okay, we'll have a first receiver. First receiver on the blue hat, and we can just throw a defender in first. Depends on where you're at with your, with your defense. So just a defender on here. I always try and set this up, this end up on a line, so it does simulate scoring a try for them, okay? So, <clears throat> simply, what we're gonna talk to the kids about is our dummy half is not gonna pass the footy to him. The dummy half is gonna pass the footy into the square, okay? So he's passing the ball into here. The first receiver must start back behind the hat, so if he wants the footy, he's got to come forward and he's got to get into that square to catch the ball. Okay, so he's going forward, he's going straight. The more he comes forward, the wider it gets, so the more room he's got. Okay, that's his advantage. The more he comes forward, the more room he's got to use his feet and try and score a try. Okay, with our defender, exactly the opposite. <coughs> he understands that the more he gets off the line and goes forward, the easier it's going to be to make a tackle because there's less room for the attacker. Okay? So it gives him an understanding of why he's going forward. All right. So nice and simply, down on the ground, right down on the ground without play the ball. <clears throat> right, Paulie, away you go with your foot. We have our dummy half pass. Lane goes forward in. <clears throat> Can use some footwork and try and score a try. Okay, go again. Starting back. Tony passes into the square. He's coming forward. Nice, we make a tackle. Okay, nice and simply, again, you can do that on the other side, so we're passing the other way. <coughs> what we can do from there is just make the funnel wider. Okay. And again, this is pushing through reasonably quickly. We make our funnel wider. For the older boys, whether they've been doing this for a little bit and they need an advancement or you've got some older kids. Okay, funnel's a little bit wider, and now we can put a first, uh, a second receiver in. <clears throat> so, second receiver as well. Okay, you can scoot up on the inside. <clears throat> and then it becomes into a two on one. Okay, so the same thing. Lane's still got to go forward to catch the footy in that square. Our second receiver's gonna come forward <clears throat> to catch the footy as well. If he goes forward, he'll go forward. Then we've got a two on one. Okay, so away we go. Forward, nice. Okay, one more lane because you're looking good. <laughs> Going forward, catching the footy, nice. Okay, and again into throwing a second defender in, it becomes two on two. Okay, but it's just a really good drill for being able to watch their play the ball. We watch their dummy half pass. We've got our first receiver coming forward, coming straight. Okay, we've got a second pass in. <coughs> we've got a defender going forward, making some tackles. We come into a, a draw and pass, two on one. Okay, so it's a really, really good drill, especially with those little fellas down, you know, six, sevens, eights, nines, tens. I done it with a side at um, Eden's Landing there a few years ago, an under nine side. Uh, same thing, you know, first receivers wouldn't go forward, catch the ball running sideways. We went into this for probably 15, 20 minutes. We went into the game, still wasn't that much difference. So I said, righto boys, you realise what we've done over there, we didn't do it in the game. So we got out of the game, we went back to the funnels. We had another sort of 10 minutes on that. When they went back in the game the second time, probably a 70% improvement. You know, every kid was sort of consciously 
uh, thinking about moving forward. You know, even if it was just a couple of little sort of steps, but they were conscious of moving forward onto the footy. Okay, which is a big problem. You know, we went around a lot of those carnivals up at Ipswich at the end of last year, six, sevens, eights, nines, tens, and the first receivers. You know, I don't think we could see saw one that even moved, and if he did, he went sideways. You know, but it's a really good way of getting them, getting them moving, getting them going forward, getting them going straight.